Here's how to add an amortization schedule under New FAS B ASC Topic 842 Requirements using CoStar's lease accounting software. Start by navigating to the accounting page in the financial section at left for a particular lease. In the upper right corner is the Add Schedule button used to begin a new amortization schedule on the accounting data entry page. The first option is the lease classification. In this example, ASC 842 operating lease is selected, and the system will test the data entered to ensure that it is appropriately classified. Second, select the amortization profile to be used for the lease calculation. The profile may include all related rent expenses and charges, or additional profiles may be created with specific types or groupings of charges, such as base rent expenses and tenant improvement allowances. Third, Choose a journal entry profile, which is pre-populated with a list of journal entry accounts when integrated with a general ledger system. The period from and period to dates are automatically populated from the possession date and current expiration date fields of the lease abstract. After this date range is confirmed, the system totals the rent charges over the period, calculates the number of periods in the date range, and calculates the level expense on a straight-line basis. Next, select a discount rate type option to perform classification testing. The first option allows for direct entry of data, and the second populates a profile of discount rate information for a specific organization. After the discount rate is selected, the system generates the present value of payments, taking into account the total amount of payments and the discount rate used. The next two data points for entry are the fair market value of the asset and the expected economic life of the asset. Once this information is entered, the system performs the classification testing for ASC 842. These tests determine if there is a transfer of asset ownership at the end of the lease term, if there's a bargain purchase option included in the lease language, if the asset is within 75% of its economic life, or if the present value of payments is within 90% of the asset's fair market value. Under ASC Topic 842, the 75% Economic Life Test and 90% FMV Test are not bright line requirements, but they are a reasonable approach in determining the classification. An additional fifth test for ASC 842 guidance asks whether or not the underlying asset is of specialized nature. In this example, the lease data values met the classification test requirements, so this lease is still designated as an operating lease. Another important factor to consider when entering the amortization schedule for ASC 842 guidance is the treatment of options and whether or not an option is reasonably certain to be exercised. In this case, the period to section can be amended to include or factor in the lease term and whether or not the option rents over that lease term are going to be factored into the guidance. Here, it is assumed that the lease is going to exceed the initial expiration date and factor in the first option including both the rents as well as the term of that individual option. Notice that the overall amount has now increased, which causes this lease to exceed Test 4's limit of fair market value percentage. At this point, a decision must be made to update the fair market value of this lease or account for it as a finance lease. Once all classification tests are completed and the data is confirmed, select Save and Close to finalize the schedule and return to the previous accounting page screen. Under Details, the new operating lease schedule is displayed with the beginning asset and liability balance for the lease, what the asset amortization looks like for each individual period, how the liability will be reduced, what the short-term liability and long-term liability is, the overall cash payment to the landlord for this real estate lease, and the lease level expense and interest expense components. Navigating down period by period, the system displays details for how that asset is amortized off the balance sheet and how the liability is reduced. Again, factoring in the short-term and long-term liability, what the individual cash payments look like, as well as that lease level expense, which should remain fixed throughout the term, as well as the interest expense component. When using the CoStar system to process journal entries and export files to a ledger, the status column allows users to approve and export charges, as well as track the export process. For further analysis, select the Run Report button at the top of the page, choose the appropriate classification, and click the View Report button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. The amortization schedule report may also be saved and exported to a variety of file formats. To see more functionality of CoStar's lease accounting software or to schedule a full demonstration, visit CoStarManager.com or call 888-823-823. 
3209.